Hey, welcome back. This is Mark from UI Press. Um, today we're going to take a quick look at how you can build custom uh, admin pages or dashboards um, using UI Press, uh, just like the one that's on the screen right now. Uh, we're just in a standard WordPress installation. We've got this cool little um, bento style dashboard here with a few links, some Google Analytics, and a little to-do list just over here. Um, yeah, so let's look at how we can build something similar. Uh, so if we come down into the UI builder in settings, and here we've got our active templates and drafts and stuff. Um, now the easiest way to do this would be by creating a new template, setting it up as an admin page, and uh, just importing it from the library because we have this template um, already pre-made. Uh, right there. Uh, but for the purpose of today's video, we'll walk through some of the basic uh, fundamentals of, of building something like this and just kind of show you how easy it is to build custom dashboards or pages for yourself, for your clients. Um, yeah, whatever you really want to do. So let's just jump back out of here and we'll delete the one we just created there. And let's start fresh. So we'll go new template in the top right here. And by default, uh, the templates are set to user interfaces, but for today, we're going to be building um, an admin page. So we want to switch this down to admin page and we'll give it a name of custom admin page. Let's just go ahead and hit save. Cool. So the first thing we're going to do is set some padding. Um, this is just like a kind of container for the whole page. So we're just going to click on it up here, come down into style and give it a second. Uh, let's do some large padding and we'll leave the layout just for now. So let's go ahead and create our first little card. Click the plus button here and we'll add. Um, container okay. and let's give it a background color go let's give it a width of 400 pixels for now and we'll add some padding as well let's go with medium Cool, so now we've got our first little card here. Um, it won't look like much, we can preview it, but there's nothing in it. So let's go ahead and add a little heading. All right, let's change the text to welcome to your site. And then we can add some dynamic data by just uh, double pressing the curly brackets. And let's go with uh, username and uh, in the preview in the builder it'll show as the variable but as you'll see when we preview it switches over to the actual value and all right now let's just add some little welcome text below that we'll leave it as lorem ipsum for now and we also want to switch the um, layout of this card Super easy, click on the container, come to the layout tab up here, go stack and vertical. And straight away it's looking a lot better. Uh, now let's add a little link. So we've got this. We'll add an icon. Say, oh. All right, so we want to remove the padding of this button and uh, make it uh, look a little bit more like a link. So let's remove the padding and let's switch to the icon block part. Give this some padding, maybe small maybe a background color too, so we can use the variables here. 
And let's give it a little bit of a radius. Let's check that out. It's looking better. Now we just need to deal with some spacing so we can use the layout here and uh, we'll center it and give it a gap of uh, 16. Text say help docs. Cool, and then if you wanted to add a link, obviously you'd do that there. Um, we just need to improve the spacing a little bit. So let's go to the layout of this container and we'll give it a gap of 16. And then I think this heading probably has some margin on it, so let's just take that off. Cool, there we go. So we're getting somewhere already. We're going to give this card some border radius, I think. Let's go with 32. Let's see that. Oh, that's a bit much. Let's do 16. Cool. And I want to increase the padding a little bit too. Awesome. So now I've got a little welcome card, um, a couple of links. Uh, obviously, add as many as you want. You can just duplicate these, um, change up the text. And I also want to give the main canvas a little bit more of uh, spacing. So let's just go ahead and do large padding. Cool. Now in the example I showed you, um, the first card, the little welcome card was actually uh, it's uh, kind of like a dark mode card. Um, super easy to do with UI press. We just click on the container up here to advanced and we can add the UIP dark mode class and it'll switch everything over automatically. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty good start for now. Uh, the next thing we should do is add some analytics cards. So we can actually just duplicate what we've already got. Let's take off the uh, dark mode class for this one. And let's give this layout of the main container a little bit of spacing. Let's go 32 pixels. Cool, so let's clear out the content of the second one. So then let's add a Google Analytics chart. Cool, so the message here is just asking us to choose a metric for the chart. Um, so we can come to the block settings and you're gonna see users, revenue, page views, all that sort of stuff. So choose the one you want. We're just gonna go with page views here. And you'll see we've got a nice um, analytics graph there. Uh, we're just gonna make the width of this 100%. And let's add, go over to the chart canvas and let's add a max height. Just to make sure the chart doesn't get too big. 200 pixels, let's preview that. Cool, and then if you wanna add more analytics charts, uh, super simple, just duplicate it. We'll come over here and click on this uh, chart settings and switch it over to users. Cool, and now we've got our users and our page views. Um, yeah, so we're not that far off the layout we already, we had at the beginning. Um, the next thing I wanna do is add the to-do list. So let's duplicate this block again. We'll clear out the uh, chart Come over here to the layers panel and we'll just type to do. And there it is. Let's give it a width of 100%. And let's give it the dark mode class again as well. Awesome, so that's looking pretty good already. Um, the one thing we can do to improve this layout is uh, make the blocks 
all the uniform width and probably fill out all the space. So if we come back up here to our main container. Um, and let's change the layout to grid. Let's do four columns. We'll make it responsive. And we'll make the minimum width 300. And then if we come to each container and just switch out the width back to 100%. Okay, so now we've got a um, pretty nice uh, even grid layout. <clears throat> um, if you don't want your cards to stretch to the bottom like this, um, you can just add um, each of these little blocks into a new container with no style. And uh, it'll... And then just change the layout to uh, stack and uh, it'll fix or remove, um, depending on what you're going for, the kind of stretch, the stretch effect on it. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. So yeah, if that's what you're going for, um, then you can do that. Otherwise you can leave it as it was before we added the extra containers. And the last thing is to set this as active so we can actually use the page. Um, so we're going to come up here into template settings. You can either click the draft button there or click the settings button right here. You're going to want to go and enable this page. Um, we can give it, uh, let's call it welcome page. Uh, the template is admin page. Supply it to the role that you want it to be able to see this page. Um, we can also add a custom slug. Uh, so let's just say my custom welcome page. And we can also add it under a sub menu if you want. Um, we're not going to do that right now. And we can add a menu icon too. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just give it that one. So if we hit save up here. Go back into uh, the UI builder and we'll see we've got this new icon up here. And I forgot to put a background color on the main container. So we're coming back to builder into style and let's just give it base color. Reload that. Cool. And then we have our, our new custom admin page. Obviously, you can fill this out a lot more. You can customize it. You can use the dynamic data to make it really personal for your users. Um, and yeah, you're pretty much um, unlimited in what you can achieve with this. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't already, check out UiPress. It's free. Um, it's in the WordPress repository. And uh, any questions, drop a comment below.